<laughs> I forgot already. This one. Okay, hang on a sec. It's too small. I can't see it. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I've only done five. That's it? That's all so far. Well, I guess that's all you can do when you have your face on, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hello, Glenda. Okay, I'm live. Let's see if I can get this big enough I can see any comments. There we are. Okay. <sighs> Hello, Norma. Okay. And Valerie. So, Janet, when I dropped off those card kits, for Wednesday, I forgot something in them. Oh, did you? <laughs> so I'll, when the next time I'm out, I'll drop it by. Okay. Poor Carmen, I forgot two of her things. <laughs> oh well. Hello, Sharon. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know where my brain has been the past little while. It's not cooperating. We'll put it that way. You're packing for. For Tofino. Exactly. I agree, Holly. <laughs> My mind is in Tofino already. I don't <laughs> doubt it. <laughs> so, okay, what you don't know is the rest of us are coming with you. Oh, that would be a party. That would be awesome. <laughs> but we're staying in your trailer. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I don't mind. Ted can go stay with Bill and Heather. There you go. We'll have a, a stamping party in the trailer in Tofino. Well, so somebody said 3D. So I thought I haven't used these mini paper pumpkin boxes that I have yet. So we're going to create something with a mini paper pumpkin. And I got out the snail designer paper and the assorted colors that go with the snail designer paper. But I forgot my machine, so I'll be right back. Okay, and white. There we are. We got some stuff up. Ah. So this is this is create with the audience time. Well, have you guys seen these boxes? I I don't think I've done anything with them since I got them. They're food safe on the inside. Is that why they're shiny? That's why they're shiny, yeah. So you can have the shiny out if you want, or you can have the non-shiny out, and I'm gonna to choose to have the non-shiny out. And all you do is just like a box and put it together, but you don't have to do all the cutting because it's all done for you. Come on. They really are easy to put together. Not that you could tell by my fumbling hands. But. So that these, the sides have these little tabs in them and they just fit down into the holes there. When you get the side tabs in. Almost like putting together bankers boxes. Yep, only a little bit easier because I always found bankers boxes when you did got ready to do the first one of the year. It was always now. How did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> so they call them mini paper pumpkin boxes because they're the same shape as our paper pumpkin boxes. 
And there it is. Cool. Now, they don't fit cards, but they fit note cards. You know, the, the note cards that we have? Oh, I grabbed the, the oh no, they're whisper white. So these will fit in there. So you could make a whole bunch of cards and put them in there. You could probably get like six or eight cards, depending on how thick you make them, of course. But that's not the purpose of tonight. The purpose of tonight is to do something 3D-ish. So I thought we could do an Easter box with snails and mushrooms. Okay. So first question is, we have to cover the front of the box with a color. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking a color and then a white and then some pieces. And this, these are the dies. So some of the things we can cut out of the designer paper. Some of them have to be hand cut. The mushrooms all have to be hand cut. This dude has a die. This dude I have to hand cut. And then there's some little teeny tiny ones. Where are they? There's these, these little things too. They're so cute. I'm obsessed with this designer paper as if you didn't tell. Hey, Terry. So Terry says yellow. So question is, Bermuda Bay, Daffodil Delight, or Real Red? Daffodil. We have two votes for Daffodil. OK. I need to well, get you said Easter. Sure, yeah, Easter. I wrote down the sizes so I didn't have to measure it or everything. Daffodil Delight. Nope, not big enough. Okay, so I need to cut a piece that is five and a half by three and five eighths. There we are. Step one. Now, are we wanting white on top of that or are we wanting to do a second layer? Well, Valerie said Bermuda. We could do that and put white on there or we could put like Bermuda underneath there. Or, oh, I didn't get it out. Blushing Bride. We have Blushing Bride, too. I like that. So there's Blush and Bride. Those colors there are pappy. These colors here? Yes. Okay, peoples. Am I doing two layers? I bent my fingernail back and it hurts. Just saying. <laughs> no, I like the Bermuda. Okay, so then the second layer would be five and three eighths by three and a half. Five and three eighths by three and a half. Or 
I could go quarter of an inch smaller instead of just an eighth of an inch smaller. I have a mess already and we only just started. I think it would look better with more yellow showing. I agree, Holly. Kidoki. Hi, Carmen. Hello. 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 Oh, I shut this off. Or turn the volume down in a way. Oh. Like that? Yes. Good. That's okay. Great. So now, does the white going to have a little bit or a lot? There's a lot. There's a little. Okay, so little, little. So that would be five, five and an eighth by three and three eighths. Nope. <laughs> okay, we'll go smaller. Not like I have a lack of cardstock. If we screw it up, we could do. Oh, Norma says a lot, but I think that was a lot for the last time. There. How's that? Like it. So Carmen, I'm covering a mini paper pumpkin box. Oh, so that's nice. the 3D we're doing. So this is the box and they come flat and you just fold them together. Right. And they're food safe on the inside. And the card kit that you picked up today for Wednesday is missing a piece. <laughs> surprise, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> So I will get that in your tape to you before the end of the weekend. <laughs> oh my God. No worries. Well, it, it, it is because it's well, the I embellishment for the card and you can't finish the card without it. <laughs> we have time to get it to you. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, <laughs> thank goodness it isn't during the class like it was the, that one time. <laughs> And I had to say, just talk amongst yourself and I'll be back in a half an hour. And I had to run out and give them the pieces that I forgot to give them. <laughs> Thank God it was just two of us. Okay, so there we are. Now, now, I got to find the white so I can put this away. Now, I want to put, or I'm thinking, not I want, because this is supposed to be you guys' card. Not that a lot of participation is happening. So we have this, this. it's like a, a rectangle that we could cut. And then we have the envelope that we could cut. And then we have on the paper, we have envelopes and Somewhere we have little, well, this is a half of one, little presents. Or there is the sign, this thing that we could do and put in the envelope. But you know what just hit me? We could use the sign out of the, hey, birthday chick dies. That might look oh. cool. That would be pretty. Okay, let me see if I can find them. 
Now, is it the hey birthday chick or is it birthday hey chick? No, I think it's hey chick. Chick dies. <laughs> it has this, this really cool sign here. Okay, so those are out in case you want to use them. So do we want to put one of these on there? This rectangle thing? Oh, are you thinking of doing that in? Yep. <laughs> I don't know. We have, I'll get out pieces, little pieces of all the colors that we can use. We have real red. And we have Bermuda Bay. And we have Blushing Bride. And we have, let's just get this one, ooh, that, which is called Daffodil Delight. Valerie red, says go for it. The red? The red or the uh, Daffodil Delight. Because we have an envelope two to do. One in one and one in the other. Okay, does this fit on here? <laughs> oh, perfect. That fits on there. Okay, Red so we'll do Daffodil Delight out of this one then. What did you say, Janet? Red envelope. Red envelope. That. Now this. I had to create an Easter card this afternoon oh. <laughs> for a blog hop that I'm in. So Heather, Heather and the family came came over for dinner and her and I created the Easter card. It was a collaboration. It turned out really cute. Okay, so that goes on there like that. This goes on here like this. This we've got, uh, I don't know whether we're gonna want that in yellow. I'll do the envelope. And I'm assuming we're gonna have the envelope open. Sure. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Oops, of course I did the wrong side. Hello, dummy. I was just going to ask you if there was a magic way to know which is which without folding it. Well, there is. You look at it because this one is slightly shorter than this one, but apparently my, my lookability wasn't working. I opened the glue dots upside down. Maybe that's what my issue is. I've been opening the glue dots upside down. Got bad luck. Okay. One envelope. Okay. That way? Or that way? That? I missed the other way. Okay. So that's. B, this is A. So be telling me which way we want to do it. But where, if you put the sign on there, where are you thinking the sign is going to go? I don't know. I was just going to cut one out. It might just go out of the envelope. I think I'll cut it in white. And if we don't like it in white, we can cut it in another color.
I will cut one out and we will have a look. Oh yeah, it's glued shut. Oh. oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay, time to get some paper on there, some designer paper. I have to get my other table in. Things are out of control already, and we've been on here how long? <laughs> okay, so we can put a strip of that on. Or we can put, so we can do our box this way, or we can do our box this way. No, I like it this way. What do you think? That way? That way. Okay, Marlene yes. likes Marlene likes A, which is this way around. A. Okay, so do we want strip A? Oh, that's cute. Or do we want strip B? A. A, she says. Okay, you get some temporary tape. Put it on there. What does everybody else say? Uh, nobody else has an opinion yet. <laughs> I'd ran away. <laughs> There's that. There's that. What else have we got? Got that one, that kind. Okay, shall I cut out a big dude and a, and a missus? Norma says A. Okay, nobody's talking. Never seen the mister. <laughs> oh, there he that. is. That guy. Yeah. Look, this one I can cut out with dies. That one I have to fussy cut. Go for it. They're cute. I like them. He's not too hard to cut out. Just takes a little bit of time. And then when you put Wink Estella on him, he comes to life. You have, I love it from Valerie for choice A. Oh, it looks like choice A is it? It is for the paper. The yellow strip made it look too yellow. Uh huh. Okay. This guy has quite the mustache happening. He does. <laughs> He's cute though. Yep. I'm kind of in love with this paper. Just saying. Good chance it's coming back. Or staying, I mean. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's hard to say. But we'll know on the 24th. Because although the retiring list for the mini catalog doesn't come out until... Um, 
the beginning of May, the, re the I get access to the no new catalog on the 24th. So I will know what is carrying forward from the mini. Of course, I'll be in Tofino. <laughs> I'll be ignoring my phone on the 24th. Pardon? Holly and I are going to raid your box, your uh, mailbox. Oh, that's okay. Cause it's only on, it's only um, on computer. You can oh. email the list to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on whether they tell us we can share that information or not. I suppose if you got to be a rule player. I uh, know, right? Eh? <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut this one out. Oh, before I put it over there, let's get it set up. Yeah, they have to, um, on April the 7th, I have a virtual Stampin' Up! event, and we're supposed to have our catalogs before that. So maybe, Janet. All right. Cut out. Oh, that cute. I like it. I like it. Okay, I like that better. What do you think? Put the I sign think... up in behind or there's a big hole in the middle of the daffodil delight and the Bermuda Bay is sticking to the box and the daffodil <laughs> delight is floating. <laughs> I okay. like the sign better where it is. Here? Yeah. We got that and we got that. Do you need the envelope? Well, I don't know. Where is my little piece that says hello? It might be cool to cut a hello and put it out of there. Oh. There's this, see, it's already done for you. So blue, red or pink? Or the one with the heart in it? What are you going to put in the other sign? Something like Happy Easter? I don't think, I think my Happy Easter, oh, wait. Maybe, maybe, hang on. Oh, that might just fit. Let's stamp it and find out. If it says Happy Easter, maybe just the heart one. Valerie said blue. So let's. Pardon my head if it gets in the way. Oh, that fit just. Ooh, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> just fit. Okay, I can stamp one too when I find where the stamp set is. Don't tell me I didn't get the stamp set out. Oh my good lord. What's the whole purpose of this? I can stamp one. We don't have to have it say anything or we can have it black on white and then stamp a heart and color it in red. Blue heart, blue heart. Okay, so they're telling me blue heart. Shall I just cut that out and see what it looks like? Mm 
Okay. Well, okay, let's take the post-it note off so that it doesn't stick to something. There we are. What are we thinking? You need eggs. Terry says, wait, I can't read her whole comment. Let me see. She says, you need eggs on it. Yes, that would be a good idea. Yeah. We need some eggs. Do we want just the, the tottering around eggs or do we want the, or do we want Easter eggs? Okay, so we have these from a ranger wreath. They're Easter eggs or we have the, e the egg with just the feet or we have this egg. Terry says eggs in the envelope. Oh, now Ooh. that would be cute. Ah, yes. Okay, got eggs. Oh, they're joined. Yes, they are. I won't tell you what they look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two boots. No, lower down in the other gender. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so bad. I'm sorry. Pardon me. I'm trying to figure out what color the eggs need to be. Not I pink. I can't <laughs> believe you said that out loud. Okay, not pink eggs. <laughs> Hello, Maria. You just came in in the middle of, of the whole laughter thing. I love it. <laughs> we need okay. it once in a while. Yes. But every time I, never mind. Okay. <laughs> um, yellow, blue, black. We could do them black and color them. Let's try that. All different colors, yes. Oh, maybe we aren't going to color them because oh. they're solid. <laughs> and I'm not doing them in black. Do them in the same color as the heart. Bermuda Bay? Yes. Stamp a couple of them, mix them up. Yep. What color am I mixing them up? How about pool party? Yep. And pink. <laughs> as long as you cut them apart. <laughs> yes, they die cut apart. It's just the stamp that's together. <laughs> Needs oh my good Lord. Better not be put this one on YouTube. <laughs> oh. Let's try my other pool party ink pad. Maybe it's got more ink in it. And if not, I'll just re-ink it. That's better. Can I do this without laughing? Okay, where's the dies? Where is my wreath dies? Mm. 
this is a really bad um, die set because we have the the top of the female and then we have the bottom of the male. Uh-huh, shutting up now. They almost look like pear. <laughs> they are pears. Okay. They are the pears. Okay, cut this out. They are cute once they get cut. Hey, Spenda. What? The um, ombre paper. Oh. <laughs> You're very welcome. This tape is really neat. This po the poster tape that looks like painter's tape. Yeah, they're um, they're post-it notes, waterproof oh. post-it notes. Get them at Staples. Yep. Oh. Okay, so we have four eggs. We can't use four. We can either use three or five. Uh oh, I lost one. No, come on, don't slide down in there. Mm -hmm. Cute. That's cute. Do we need two more? Or will it be too much? Let's stamp some yellow ones and see. That's so cute. <laughs> stamp. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Die. There. Okay, so we do want three or five. Five? Looks okay. good. Let's put the this on. Gotta cut it down to Three and a quarter.
Okay. I'm assuming I'm leaving a little bit of white along the edge. I guess I should have asked before I put it down. Okay. You made this decision. That's good. <laughs> Okay, everybody likes five. So I guess we're leaving five. Now put that on the yellow. Uh oh. I'm running out. I always run out when I'm live. I never run out when I'm using it. Just me here. You guys are awfully quiet tonight. Look at the enough. stuff that I picked up from you today, and I'm thinking. Oh my, I'm sure glad you wrote on the envelopes what they were for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's for the the snail mail snap stamp camp on the 14th. Yeah, and the slide one. Oh, and Wednesday, the one that's missing a piece. Yeah. Janet picked up her stuff today. Oh, did she? Krista the other day, but Janet's excited about the stamp camp. <laughs> there are people that like those cards, you know, with the snails. She told me she puts googly eyes on all of hers. Uh -huh. Really? <laughs> Cute. Okay. There are now. <coughs> this Sorry. there and that there and I think I'll pop the top of that up there are just some dimensional pieces on that right now I opened a cupboard and found my hot water bottles that I had ready to go up to the cabin today. Made me want to go there instead of Tofino, but only briefly. Have you been checking the weather? What's it supposed to be like? In Tofino? Not sure if you check long term or not. I don't. I have a husband who does that and he has not told me. I know the sun's the it'll get light in the morning and it'll get dark at night <laughs> or dark all day. And when you don't really care if it's raining or not, why bother checking? No, don't care. Do yeah. anything about it anyway because it's going to nope. happen. And we've been out there in all kinds of weather. <sighs> Last year was glorious. It was. And the year before that was glorious too. So I, I'm kind of thinking that it's not going to be this year. I think it's going to be a little rainy to this year. I just have that feeling. Maybe we're getting all the rain early. Well, they say March comes in 
when it comes in like a lamb, it goes out like a lion. And March the 1st, we had sunshine. It was a gorgeous day. So I figured, it, oh, oh, we're in trouble. I thought that was April. Fuck, did I have that one wrong? <laughs> <laughs> it's April showers bring May flowers. That's yeah. it. You, it wasn't nice on the first, wasn't that when we were in Courtney? Yes, we had sunshine here. Not in Courtney, it was ugly. Yeah, but you know, I got halfway down the island, the sun came out, it was absolutely stunning day. I had every weather you could imagine that day on that trip. I'm putting this together. If you guys think I'm putting it together wrong, you need to be telling me. So we had the blue ones in first, right? On the top. Blue ones oh. were down near the... Down here. Yes. And then... Pink in the middle. A, a pink and a yellow in the middle, and I think we had a pink at the back. Was that the way I did it? Two yellows, one pink. Two yellows, one pink? Not two pinks, one yellow? I think you lost a pink. No. I have pinks. That's yellow. Ah! That's pink, but now there's glue all over everywhere. Let me just clean that up before I get it on everything. This one's pink. That one's just pink. Lose your uh, egg with the tissue? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Oh no, you saved it. It looks like it swept up with the tissue. <laughs> well, there's five there. The other, the extra one is over here. I did six. I hope you can see me nodding my head. Yeah. You and me <laughs> both. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a whole conversation going on over there that I'm ignoring. So hang on. Can you still get? Yes, Norma, you can still get the boxes. They're in the annual catalog. And it, Heather says it's after the kids are back in school, so it will be nice. There. Just saying. I like that. <laughs> Both parts of it. Yep. Those chillins will be in school. It's uh, spring break now. Really? Yep, starts this weekend. Oh. Everywhere? A lot of the wares. Oh. It's not everywhere. Different districts have different times. So is it for two weeks? Yes. Oh. That's what happens when you don't have little ones in your house. Yeah. Come on, get in there. How's that? Sure. Or do I need to switch these two? I think it looks good. Cute. Okay, stop playing with it, woman. There. Okay. Sure? Now this, that dude, with this up here. How do that be looking? That's cute. Do so what you gonna fill the box with? Easter candy chocolate <laughs> and then she's going to deliver it to everyone <laughs> your, uh, yeah your picture got really small and it's saying uh, your network bandwidth is low you must Great. have a bunch of 
people online over in that area. <laughs> so you can't see me. I, I can see you, but it's but like tiny. it's like oh. this big. <laughs> Maybe about that big. <laughs> Hang on. And a, and a bit blurry on my side. Yeah. That's when I realized it had gone smaller. <laughs> I just asked Ted to stop his TV streaming, see if it works. Glenda Mollett Craft Room Stampers Network bandwidth is low. Don't get it, stupid neighbors. How dare they use their internet? That's very rude. Do they not know this is important? I've got peeps on with me. Has it improved any? No. No. Clear, but it's still small. What can I do to, anybody got any ideas what I can do to make it better? Is it still telling me I have low bandwidth and I don't understand what that is. And you're asking the non-techies? <laughs> Ted, could you come here for a sec, please? I'll invite my techie in and see what he has to say. Okay, I gotta put things behind the eyeballs. It's telling me that my network bandwidth is low. Got any idea what it means? Cause it's telling me my picture is really tiny at their end. John just said lots of people in your neighborhood are on the online tonight. There must be a lot of streaming going on. Well, they need to stop. They all have TV, like get off the internet. Well, they should be paying for it. Get off my bandwidth. So how do we fix this? What do we upgrade to, to get rid of all of this? Valerie says it going blurry when I move. That's probably because of the bandwidth being low. Yeah. Friday night, everybody's on. Well, they need to get off because I have important things I need to do. Because mm -hmm. the kids are all home now. Damn them. Go back to school. Good thing is at least we can still see it. Yeah. <laughs> you just need stronger glasses. Uh -huh. <laughs> Magnifiers. Telus, Telus doesn't have, do they have optic? Does Shaw have optic? Yep. Hmm. <sighs> Okay, well, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about it now other than turn my turn my phone off and then you can't see what I'm doing. Kind of defeats the purpose. Put it on data. Oh, I could try that. Hang on, I'm gonna take it, my phone off of Wi-Fi and just put it right onto data. So hang on a sec here. Come on. Oh, the Wi-Fi is not on. Oops. Ted. Wonder how long my Wi-Fi has been off. My Wi-Fi is not on. Maybe that's what it is. Okay. okay, we'll try that. Of course, can you guys see anything? The corner of the box. Yeah. Well, why is it? Yeah, corner of the box. Okay, don't understand why you're seeing that. Okay, hang it's on. Like, it's like you've zoomed in. Okay, I'm leaving and I'm coming back in. Oh, my phone is like 400 degrees. And you've been using up all your data too. That's all right, I got 20, 20 whatevers. What am I looking for? I'm looking for that. 
What's that stuff called? 20 gigabytes. You're big. You're back. <laughs> I am? You're back. big. OK, but I can't see anything. What is going on? OK, hang on. OK, so that's what the issue was. But I'm not on. Your phone. I'm not on Zoom yet with my phone. It's coming. I have a lovely picture of gorgeous Janet sitting there. <laughs> OK, so that's got to go. It was because I was on data. Yeah. Well, let me just spot like this so we can see. There. Ooh, better. We, we back to normal? Uh -huh. Woohoo! Yes. Well, as normal as we ever are, in a way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's there and that's there. Now we've got these little teeny tiny little dudes. Do I want a little teeny tiny dude? Or do we just want to leave that? Or do we just maybe do this? Like that. Yes. Just like that? Yeah. Cute. Yeah. Aww. OK. It's sweet. It'll hold a lot of candy, but I won't be able to mail it. No. <laughs> Valerie says they're kissing. Valerie, this is an Easter box, not a wedding box. <laughs> Maybe instead of that, we need to put three little of some of these little dudes. Let me cut one out and we'll have a look. That could work too. Unfortunately, there's no dye for these either. And they have eyelashes. So they're a little bit, see, they have eyelashes. They're a little bit harder to cut out. <laughs> Got to go around the eyelashes. We were looking at cell phone plans tonight. out there well there's one called zoomer and it started out to be for um, people who belong to carp canadian association of retired people but now it's gone out to the public but it's for it's for uh, retired people so as long as one of the people in your household is old, then the other <laughs> ones can get it too. So a, a phone, they have Samsung or Motorola or the Hawaii or Hau or whatever they call it. That's cute. I like that better. Without the big one? Yes. Flugs are bad enough when they wear houses and when they wear mustache, mustaches, <laughs> it's just over the top for me. <laughs> oh. Anyways, the cell phone plan is. $45 a month for seven gigabytes of data, unlimited Canada-wide text and call, and a Samsung A51 or A71, or one of the other ones. They don't have the, the A20 ones, but you can bring your own phone and your own number too. But at $45 a month, 
It's awful damn cheap. Did no. you outright buy your phone? Yeah. I did. And because I bought it out, outright, TELUS has to unlock it for me so that it's not locked to TELUS only because it doesn't belong to them, it belongs to me. So we're going to look into it because it would be a lot cheaper than what we're paying now. Yeah, that, well, that's about half of what I'm paying now for mine. Yeah, well, we, we could get both of ours for the same price we're playing, paying for one. Is your unlimited calling and texting? Yep. And what else was it? Seven gigs of data? Seven gigs, yeah. Do you know if they are piggybacking TELUS or Rogers? Oh, Rogers. We don't get that here. Yeah, but Rogers piggybacks either TELUS or uh, Shaw. Yeah, but not for us here. But here it's good because Rogers has a tower out at Sprout Lake where TELUS does not. So they get good coverage out there. And when That's we're up at the cabin, when we're at the cabin, it's Rogers that we keep getting locked onto. So how come you guys don't have it in town? Weird. It seems to be only up the lake. Huh. So Valerie says, see what kissing led to? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Maybe a mushroom or two. Or Easter eggs. Yeah, but we need something over here that's relatively big. Like we can put these three little dudes here, but we need something here, right? Yes, no, maybe. Am I the green? Here? The green mushroom. This one, that yeah. one. I like that one better. Uh, but it might be too big. Well, this is the same one, but it's cut down a bit because it's missing some of its feet. So let's see what it looks like. They must have been magic math. <laughs> Valerie, you're right on it tonight. Norma has Rogers for a long time and has had no problems. Good. Valerie says they must have been magic mushrooms. Yep. It was all the body part talk earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting a little raunchy there for a minute. I needed to shut up. Not for my sake. <laughs> oh, this one is, is crooked in the wrong way. It needs to be crooked the other way. To put it there. Let's try this red and white one. Oh, that's crooked the wrong way too. Man, there's a lot of fussy cutting in this box. <laughs> Doing a good job of it. So did anybody check out the blog hop I'm in today? No. It's all about butterflies. Butterfly brilliance bundle. Is that the new one? Yeah. That's a beautiful, beautiful set. There we go. Cute. Bring that one down a bit. Lift that one up a bit. 
put that guy right there. You never tell his leg isn't long. So that one in there. Cute. There's, there's, there's a big hole right there. Bling. The middle uh, snail, bring him, could you bring him down to see what it looks like? No. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> hmm. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. We could slide this though. Except I, I uh, pushed him down, her down already. Just let me lift her butt up for a sec. Come on, up. When you're playing with somebody's butt. <laughs> you, you just cut sticky with your good scissors. I cut what? Sticky stuff with your good scissors. These? Those aren't my good ones. Those are my, I use them for everything scissors. There. I could put that there. Just so they have some grass or something to tootle around on. That there and there. This one down here. That one up there. Yes, no? Better it doesn't look like they're floating yeah. now. Yeah, I like it. Okay. That's cute. Okay, so now I'm going to snip this off here. Lift that up. See if I can lift that up enough to slide this underneath. Oh, I didn't put any adhesive on it. That might help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not using stamp and seal because I need some movability. You won't tell. You don't know what I'm using anyways, because I did it in secret. <laughs> we could see. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go low enough. <laughs> oh, well, it is what it is. You know, there's adhesives for everything. Right. And this would have been a lot easier if I had it done this before I put everything on there. Okay. But not as much fun for us. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm so entertaining. So are we. Because, you know, life would be dull and boring if, it, if we didn't have something to do on a Friday night when we're stuck in our house. Blue dots. And we're going to be stuck here at least until after spring break is over. I don't think they're going to release any of our our orders until after spring break's over. I think you're right. Not that it's going to stop me from going camping, but they did say in the summer that camping is a good thing. So I'm going with that. And you're basically staying in your bubble. Yep, I am. My bubble is just moving to a different location. Mm -hmm. Oh no, 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 no. Has to be dimensionals, dummy. Okay, come on, glue dot, you need to come off. Thank you. That's not sticking down there anymore. There we are. Thank God for glue dots.
one. Okay, so this is the one that goes here. So I can't put I can't put dimensionals on his eyeballs. Because then he'll look funny. I'm thinking right there. Okie dokie. How's uh, that for placement before I go pushing it down? Good. I like that. Look, it makes it look okay. Perfect. Okay. I haven't uh, taken the backing off of these dimensionals that are behind the sign yet. Should do that. There we are. Lovely, Glenda. Oh, now it needs some winky. Oh, yes. Okay, I, I'm missing all of this. Terry, what did you say to put behind the sign? Oh, maybe a, a mushroom. Did I miss that? Sorry. Valerie was busy sorting a hundred years of paperwork. Oh my God, who are you sorting paperwork for? Because you're not that old. There was no, the only stamping was in the Happy Easter. There's no coloring. Just a lot of fussy cutting tonight. So don't forget about my contest. Write a list of 10 stamp sets you think are going to retire. And on the 24th, we'll see who gets the most right. And just do it. Huh? On my to-do list. Just put it in the comments of the, I'm going to pin the post to the top so that you can find it. So if you lose it, just look under um, announcements if the announcements are there. Because you know, Facebook thinks once you've seen something once, you don't need to ever see it again. Mine um, usually isn't under um, announcements. It's under files most times. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. I just remembered I did stamp the Easter eggs. <laughs> now, resin hearts. Yes, please. Yes. I have to do some clean though because I'm running out of room. Oh, Valerie sorted and Dave shredded. Good idea. When I do that, I just give it to Ted and he sends the, ch the grandchildren out to the shop and they shred. Nice. <laughs> so really well. Yeah. Got a boat. Yeah, a foot of shredding to do. Yeah. A lot of work. It is. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's when a burn pile would be nice. Yep. Thirteen. Yay. Didn't lose any. Got your eggs taken away. Yeah. Eggs belong to this one.
Okay. I almost found enough room to work now. That can go up there. That can go over there. We'll just save these dudes. Well, I can put that, I can put that big guy inside. The inside of the lid. Yep. We can. Look at this. I have like an almost clean workspace. I'm so excited. All right, there we are. Pokey tool. Let's liberally use the, the hearts because I have lots of them. We might as well use them. One, two, three, four, five. Do I need more? Looks kind of bare over yonder. Valerie says she just heard an ad for Christmas from Sobeys. Really? Well, it is March. <laughs> yep. And to think we used to think it was overkill when the Sears Christmas catalog came out at the beginning of September. <laughs> ha ha, there we go. I'll see if I can get it so you guys can see the shine on there. Come on. There it is. There it is. Did you see it? Yeah, right there. there. That is very cute. <laughs> now I have some paper from a paper pumpkin box. So let's just throw some in there. Because I got it and it's free. Oh, you know what we haven't done yet? We haven't gone around the outside of the box. Have to do that. Now, where did that, that, we'll put that dude right there because he, he's lonely sitting there by himself. And it'll be a little something unexpected when they open the box. Yep. And Maria doesn't have to look at him. <laughs> I think he's cute. I love his mustache and his little bow tie. There we are. I think There's the inside. Like poop on the candy. <laughs> You're bad. Okay. Now I need. Hmm, I need seven eighths by five and five eighths by two. Okay. So let's see what I've got in here to put on there. Of that. Is that long enough? That's not long enough. That would be cute though. Oh, there it is. Would it not go on the side? Yeah, the shorter one? 
Yeah. But I have to have something that's long enough to go on the on the front. So what do you think? Let's see if I can cut this with my mini trimmer. I'll just cut. Seven eighths by what? Oh, I can't do five or five eighths on there. Well, that'll give me the front. And then I need seven eighths by three and five eighths. Okay, so let's just waste a bunch of this. <laughs> so I think I have a whole other package. By three and five eighths. Three and five. Eight. And then we'll just figure out something for the back because it's the back. Oh, put my st stuff away. I think I have to go get a refill. Oops. Uh oh. Up. Thank you. I'll have to go digging in my my thing and see if I got something for the back because I wasted a whole bunch of it. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to go through the mail for letter rate. No front for that, I think. <laughs> but if I deconstruct it and lay it down flat, there, now we just need something for the back. Oh, I got this. I'll put this back there. It's this icky yellow on one side, but it's not, it's got that on the other side and we've already got some of that. So we'll, we'll do that. What lengths five and five feet? So who's coming to the nautical class tomorrow? 
Me. Planning on it. Yay. Ariane is too. Yay. Is it at one o'clock? Yep. I'm going to try, but it depends on if Guido has a play date or not. Oh. I see. Guido always wins. Or Guido, Gino. Guido's long gone. Ah, but not forgotten. Apparently not. <laughs> I left this too long. I just have to cut a sliver of this off. There. Very nice. I need two, though. <laughs> well, I'm thinking I'm going to have to put, I wasn't going to put um, dimensionals behind those eyeballs, but I'm afraid they're going to get caught. I'm going to have to put dimensionals behind those eyeballs. There, that's better. <laughs> Let's see what chocolate we can put in there. As you know, I have a plethora of chocolate. I even have an Easter bunny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I could get yes, a couple yes. of those in there. I only have one, though. But here, we'll pretend it's Valentine's Day. And we'll put some Smarties in there. And a chocolate heart. There we are. How is it I've stayed at your house on more than one occasion and never gotten into your chocolate stash yet? <laughs> I don't know. Well, when you sit in my craft room, if you sit on the side that I don't sit on, you would have your back to it. That's the issue. I'm going to have to remedy it. <laughs> Does that mean you're still coming on the 20th? No, we're not talking about it. I uh, know. I just want to weigh this, see how much it is. Oh, cheap like borscht to mail. If I if it was only thinner, but if I take all the stuff out, if I take all the stuff out and put it in an envelope flatten the bag yeah it won't go through this is my jig if it doesn't go through there it ain't gonna go but because it is built the way it is it comes apart really easy so these would go these should be able to go through yep those go through and then this i would just pop apart Like that. Put that in half of the envelope, put this in the other half of the envelope, and there we go. Duh. What's the next one up from a dollar ninety two? Three thirty five? I think. Not bad.
And the good thing is that the little one up north is not big enough yet that she's going to require her own box. Or I just make another one. Or three more. All right. Now, where are those boxes? They are under. They're right here, page 152. You get 10 of them for $10.25. So they're a buck a piece plus shipping and stuff. So $1.25 a piece. Oh. <laughs> oh. Gonna fill it with wait, I'm I'm going back here. Gonna fill it with chocolate and send it over. Gonna fill what with chocolate and send what over? Terry's Terry said I hide it well the chocolate in my craft room. Too well. And he Heather says, follow Cameron. He goes to the chocolate all the time. <laughs> I will remember that. <laughs> and today we moved his high chews into the craft room too, because they were out in a cupboard in the kitchen. Ah, yes. Fill the box with chocolate and send it. Good idea. I'm going to. So there we go. We're done. And I have all 10 boxes. So now I can just take out more and create three more. And there we are. I'm ready for Easter. Woohoo! Hey! <laughs> when is Easter? Easter is the third, fourth, fifth of April. The we that's the weekend, our last weekend in Tofino. I'm looking forward to my turkey. <laughs> One turkey. So do you want to see the cards we're doing tomorrow? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. They all say it's cute. Okay, so here's one. I love that whimsical die. Me too. And then on the inside and the envelope. And I did this one in vanilla. And then there's this one. Like that. Kind of deceiving because of the, the raised there, but it's kind of cool. It is. And just a plain inside. Then I put the boat on the envelope. And then this one. So this one I stole, I was inspired from Susan Simpson to do this one. But look, very last thing, I got goop there. Like, how does this stuff show up? I don't get it. Where does it come from? And then I did the inside. Very nice. So Thanks. that's tomorrow at one o'clock or a version of these at one o'clock. You don't have to do them the same way I did them. And I'm just about ready for them. I just have to clean off the table. <laughs> the Me table. too now. Well, no, my kitchen table because Mary Ann's going to come over. So we're going to do it out there. Oh, that's more nice. Room more room and set up my computer out there uh -huh. yeah i'm gonna have to fake it because i don't have that set pardon me i'm going to have to fake it because i don't have that set that's but okay I'm sure i can find something oh yeah they're adaptable that's why I didn't use the, the dies and stuff. 
Terry says, if you cut fronts off of boxes and put the 10 together, you have six by six paper storage. If you cut the fronts off the boxes, stick 10 of them. Oh, well, how smart is that? Then you just put your paper in like that. Huh. Thank there you, Terry. Terry. And these are really sturdy boxes too. They're not really, they're not flimsy. They'd work, that would work really good. Smart idea. You're welcome, Marlene. April 4th is Easter Sunday, yeah. It is, I will, will be walking a beach. I'm sorry, but I will. What do they? What do they say? Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I had one one poor little egg left. I like that. <laughs> I do too. It's in there. It even had adhesive on it, so it's, it's <laughs> there now. It was like it was meant to be, but that needs to have a glue dot underneath it. See, I make these things and then I play with them. If I don't take it and put it off to the side, I keep going. But this is going to get torn off, so it needs a glue dot to hold it in place. There we go. So in reality, I'm not playing with it. I'm just finishing it. Yeah. And Marlene, I will enjoy. Thank you. We are definitely, I was thinking the other day, I have not had a break since September when I, when we went over to close our cabin up. Not a break. I've been working seven days a week, 14 hours to 16 hours a day. I am taking a break. Good I for you. I don't think I'm even taking any crafty stuff with me unless they decide they want to class in Tofino. So we'll see if I can make it two weeks without crafting. I may be crazy by the time I get home. <laughs> oh, I was going to show you a card I got in the mail today. Crazier. Look at this beautiful card. Crazier. Hey, I represent that. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Purple that Posey and Highland Heather. Gorgeous. That was uh, from Diane. She's hoping to join us tomorrow too in uh, Ontario. I uh, spent some time chatting with her about tax stuff the other day. Oh, what stuff? Tax. Oh. Yes, Heather, the boys will keep me busy. That's right. Lots of bike riding and beach walking and beach hiking and to the beach three times a day, whether I like it or not. So nice by the water. Yep. You usually get 16,000 ish steps a day. Excellent. Maybe you'll see some nice sunsets. Oh, they're so pretty over there. We will. And that would mean we actually get to see sunshine. <laughs> Which is always a good thing. All right, ladies. Well, I will see you at one o'clock tomorrow. Thank you, you for sharing. Thank you very much, Glenda. Good You're night, welcome. Everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Bye. Bye for now. Bye. Okay, stop. That, stop.